Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anusha Rani. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am back with a small video to show how to calibrate UV visible spectrophotometer. Here in Maharaja's College of Pharmacy, we have Agilent Carry 60 UV visible spectrophotometer. And um, we are, the instrument is supplied with uh, quad cuvettes to load the sample. So here the cuvettes are made up of quads. And then here we can calibrate the spectrophotometer using these solutions that is 1.2% weight by volume solution of potassium chloride in distilled water for uh, limit of stray light. And then uh, potassium dichromate solution where a weight between 57 mg to 63 mg is weighed and dissolved in 0 0.005 molar sulfuric acid to produce 1000 ml of uh, potassium dichromate solution. 0.02% volume by volume solution of toluene in hexane. So first, we will be checking the control of absorbance. For that, I have uh, placed the blank solution in the sample holder. So here, the blank is 0 0.005 molar sulfuric acid. So I have placed the blank, opened the software, and then uh, kept it in the simple reads mode, then selected absorbance and then uh, type the required wavelengths like 235, 257, 313 and uh, 350 nanometers. Then press OK. And then I will be first setting to zero with the blank. So continuously I will be pressing over the zero until the red color measurement being shown on the top shows zero. So, continuously press on zero and then uh, check for the zero value on the top. That is a red indication. So now you can see it is set to zero with the blank that is sulfuric acid and now I will be placing the sample that is a dichromate solution, potassium dichromate solution and here are the readings. The absorbances that I get are 0 0.7339 at 235 nanometers, 0 0.854 at 257 nanometers, 0 0.2996 absorbance at 313 nanometers and 0 0.6334 at 350 nanometers respectively. So we have measured the absorbance of potassium dichromate solution at various wavelengths as specified. And then we have to calculate the absorbance of 1% 1 cm for each wavelength which is equal to absorbance into 1000 by weight of potassium dichromate in mg. Here stringent limits are adapted from IP and BP for the acceptance criteria which are also been shown. And all the values that we got are all falling within the acceptance criteria. Therefore, control of absorbance is checked. Now let's check the limit of stray light. For this we have to use 1.2% weight by volume solution of potassium chloride in water. So for that I have to first place the blank that is distilled water and then adjust the required parameters. That is I am setting the wavelengths to 200, 210 and 220 nanometers. And now we have to select the absorbance and then uh, we are doing it in a simple reads mode. So after setting these parameters, I have to set it to zero. So you can see now, uh, when we continuously press on uh, zero, so we can set the instrument to zero readings. And now I'm placing the potassium chloride sample into the sample holder. So remove the blank that is distilled water and then place the potassium chloride solution. So now when you place the sample and then uh, go to the read mode, so you get the values displayed over here. You can see the absorbances 
values of uh, potassium chloride solution at the set wavelengths have been displayed here that is at 200 210 and 220 nanometers the values are 2.100 3.4855 and 3.588 uh, which are all more than 2 therefore uh, uh, the acceptance criteria has been satisfied and stray light has been checked Next we have to check control of cuvettes. For this we have to measure the transmittance of the cells using water as sample and air as blank. So here first of all I have to set the wavelengths at 350 nanometers and 650 nanometers if I am using the glass cells and um, I have to set it at 220 nanometers and 240 nanometers if I am using the quad cells. So first of all I am placing the empty cuvette into the sample holder and then checking for its uh, transmittance so I am showing the values for glass cells so both the values at uh, the set wavelengths are greater than 85% uh, and 88% respectively and next I am placing the water sample and then again checking the transmittance values they are 144% uh, and uh, 148% uh, which are much greater than 85% and 88% at the respective uh, wavelengths and therefore control of cuvettes has been checked and next I will be checking the resolution power of the UV visible spectrophotometer for this I have to use 0.02% volume by volume solution of uh, toline in hexane and then uh, set the wavelengths at 269 and 266 nanometers and then we have to record the ratio of the absorbance at the maximum that is 269 nanometers and at the minimum that is 266 nanometers so we do this in the absorbance mode and then uh, when we put the toline in hexane solution and then press the read mode we get these values that is 0 0.0496 at 266 nanometers and 0 0.0824 at 269 nanometers and when we take the ratio of these two values we get a value of 1.66 which is uh, not less than 1.5 therefore the acceptance criteria has been satisfied. So this is how we can calibrate the UV visible spectrophotometer for wavelength accuracy for uh, control of absorbance and control of cuvettes and resolution power regarding maintenance and repairs when the instrument does not comply with the requirement or the tolerance ranges as specified in the previous description the instrument must be labeled as out of calibration and should be repaired or serviced after repair or maintenance again we have to calibrate the instrument this is all about uh, the calibration of uh, the UV visible spectrophotometer. I shall be back with another video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please post in the comment box. Hope the video is quite informative. Thank you.